Lauren. So um, this is a requested video to show you guys how I install my um, clip-in hair extensions that you've seen me wear in a few videos. Um, so this is how you do it. If you guys have any questions for me, then you already know what to do. Leave them below as a comment and here we go. Okay, so the first thing that I do is the night before, um, I know if I'm good, like if I'm gonna put in my extensions um, the next morning, what I do the night before is I braid my hair into, I do one braid here, one here, one here, so that's three, and then the back I do two. So I do five um, braids in total. If I'm going to be including my bang in the wavy style, I'll also create two um, braids out of my bangs in the front. You're going to need um, things to like hold your hair, so I just have some like pins and, what is that? Okay, so that was weird. Um, just like some pins and clips and things like that to hold my hair up. And then I have these clip-in extensions that I made myself. As you can see, they're not the neatest or whatever, but they're perfectly fine in my opinion. They have the clips right there. And the hair that I have, it came like this. Information about this hair will be down below. So the first thing that you do is you want to section off your hair in the back. You want to start from the bottom and then work your way up. So what I do is I just take my two thumbs, I hope you guys can see that, just two thumbs, and um, I just section off the hair, uh, like a section that's about that big. Okay, you don't want to put it too close to the bottom because you don't want it to kind of just end up sliding out during the day. So you want to leave a pretty good thick amount. So I think you guys can see how much I left. And then I just twist that up, and I'll take one of these and clip it up like that, okay? So the first piece that I'm going to take is um, a piece that has three clips on it. Using um, like a wide tooth comb, I'm just kind of going to kind of um, make sure that they're not really tangled because the piece that's closest to the bag is going to be the most tangled at the end of the day. So just run through it just to make sure that it's not already tangled. And I unclip them like that. Start with the middle piece first. Just insert it like that. Clip it. Go to one side. Insert. Clip. And the other side. Insert. Clip. Some people tease their hair. Tease the roots so that it's like a thicker thing to put it in. But I don't like, I don't like to tease my hair. So I don't. And there you go. Okay, so that's the first one, and as you can see, my hair blends in pretty well with it um, because I braided it. Now we're going to take this down, and we're just going to section off. So we're going to make this piece a little bit thicker with our thumbs. Okay. Put this one more towards the middle of your head. Alright, as I said, the part that you make doesn't have to be perfect. And again, I'm just going to clip up my hair. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. This time I'm going to take a, um, a piece of hair that has four clips. So I'm going to unclip those. Again, I'm going to just run through it with my comb. And then we're going to clip that in, starting with the two middle clips. Center those and clip those in. Whoops. Sorry, this piece is getting in the way right here. And then you're going to clip that in on the side. And that in on the side. Okay, and once again, release that. And now you've got two. Two clips in. Looking good already. Okay. <laughs> Next, you're going to go a little bit further up. Once again. Now, if your hair is thinner than mine is, then you won't need as many. You don't. We won't need to clip in as many extensions. But since my hair is thick, if I was to only clip in like two, then um, it would it would look weird because it would be like really thick, and then um, the extensions would be like really thin at the bottom. So you'd be able to see that it's fake. Which I mean, I don't care that people know that it's fake. I don't really care, but. Um, you don't want it to look totally weird and fake. You want it to look as natural as possible. One more extension that has three clips. Just 
comb through that a little bit. You don't want to like comb through it a lot, nor do you want to comb through it with something thin. This is a nice wide tooth comb. Clip them. Whoops. Something's hanging. Okay. And clip the middle one first. And then clip the sides. Make sure you really comb it in there because you don't want it to start falling out after a while. You want it to really stay. Okay. So now we've got those in. Now here's where you have to decide what you want to do with your hair for the day. If you want to wear it just by your sides down or if you want to wear it more like back like that. I want to wear my hair back like this today. Sorry, I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. Um, I want to wear my hair, blah, blah. I want to wear my hair back today. If you're going to wear your hair to the side, what you would do is just clip in the extensions more like on the side like that. Just going down that way. But since I want to wear my hair back, what I'm going to do is mimic the natural way that I would do my hair if I don't have the extensions in, if that, I hope that makes sense. And I'm going to put them in going that way. So that it's the same direction of my hair and it's a lot more natural. So I'm just going to finger off um, some hair. Make sure you, you don't want to put too thick of a section in the front, but you want to put it thick enough so that it covers the hair completely and that you don't see tracks like poking out or whatever. I'm just going to take a two clips, um, section of extensions. Just comb through it a little bit. And starting on this side, I'm going to clip and clip like that okay so they're clipped in there then I will take another whoops take another two clip section and we're gonna clip it there and there okay so then we can take this out now and push our hair back. Now what I'm gonna do is comb this like that. All right, and just play with it just to make sure that all your own hair is being covered nicely and that, um, yeah. That's the most important thing. Um, okay, so now that I've gathered my hair like that, and this is the style that I want it to be, I'm going to take um, a pin like this, and I'm just going to put it like that. Just slide it in there to hold the style. Then I'm going to take another one. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Then I'm going to take a smaller pin. Pins aren't so pretty, but if you get them in like the same color as your hair, then it's not bad. I'm going to put that last pin right there. Just to make sure that it holds nicely. I'm just going to fix my bangs because they look horrible, as always. <laughs> the last thing I'm going to do is just take some moisturizer. Today I'm using the olive oil moisturizer thing. And just put it like on your roots in the front. And then just brush those back so that you don't have like nappy roots. Okay. And that's really it, guys. So this is what it looks like. Oops. Okay. This is what it looks like going all the way around. You can put it back if you want. Um, you prefer to wear your hair just kind of like down. But I like to put my hair forward. I don't know. I just do. But as you can see, it looks really natural from what I think. I don't know if you guys agree, but I think it looks natural. And yeah, that's how you do it, guys. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, um, all information about this hair will be down below. Um, yeah, 
And if you guys have any requests for me, then go to my requested my request video that's also linked below, and you can leave it as a comment there. Thank you guys very, very much, and I really appreciate you watching. I love you guys. Bye. Bye.